It's all happening. Whoa! Giant Trevally on the troll. Hey, buddy! Whoa, you're so big! Woo! That's really, really awesome. All right, welcome to a wicked adventure, guys. You wouldn't believe it, we've had wind all week. Still windy now, but I've just opened the weather app and there's a break in the wind tomorrow morning, real early, and then it blows up. So I've got to pack in the boat straight away and I'm gonna tow this thing up north tonight so we can hopefully go fishing tomorrow morning. And I really wanna do just a solo trolling mission, try pick up something we haven't caught before or something epic. We haven't gone fishing, just me and you for a while, so. We're taking the big boat out, but because we're gonna be sending it up pretty late tonight, I'm gonna to cook some food. So I have some fish left over, and I bought a new uh, new smoker. So I'll meet you at the kitchen, and we'll cook this tusky up, eh? You, you ready, big <laughs> Alrighty, welcome to the kitchen. And here's all the ingredients we're gonna be needing. Now, I haven't had much prep for this, but the fish is currently sitting in a brine, which is just a bit of brown sugar, salt, and water. It's been sitting in there for 30 minutes to an hour. Um, overnight would be ideal, but what we've got, it's some beautiful wood chips, smoker dust, they call it. And we're gonna be smoking this beautiful tusky that I shot a little bit ago. It's been sitting in the freezer. With these smokers, you wanna use methylated spirits. Fill that up about 75%, eh? And then you wanna get your flamethrower. All right, that is lit. Are you stealing more stuff from the kitchen, Vix? Let's do this rush smoke recipe. So, I want to put some of the smoke dust, all the wood chips in. Lay that along the bottom. Drip tray in, fish tray in. So what we'll do now, we'll get the fish out of here. Dry it off a little bit. Look at that, some beautiful tusky fillets. Oh, that's smoking already, man. Holy dooly, man. Um, should we just get it in? We have a fair bit of fish, so I reckon we'll put it in for maybe 20, 25 minutes. Okay. All right, I'll tune back in when it's cooked, but for now, I've got to pack this boat. Check out that sunset peeking through the sky there. It's real hazy, like smoky. I'm really hoping there's not a nearby bushfire because that looks gnarly as. I can even I can even smell a bit of smoke. Um, good thing of Nick. That'd be from my uh, my smoker probably. <laughs> All right, Vixie, let's go. Come on. Moment of truth. Wow. Look at that! You can see the brine definitely work. Look how much dripped out of it. Lucky we had the drip tray, but that looks... Look at that! They're big chunks too, and that's fully cooked to perfection. That's a cracker cooker. Honest review, man. This fish has been sitting in the freezer for a little bit, so I'll be dead honest with you guys. It's so hot. Let me grab a little piece. Come in. Show everyone how smart you are. Can you sit? Dixie, sit. Dixie, sit. There you go. What do you think of Dad's smoked fish? Shake, yes. Want a little bit more? There you go. That's yum, hey. Honest verdict. What do you think, Victory? You'll give that like a like an eight. I reckon we'll give that an 8 out of 10. Let's eat this, let's pack the boat, let's get up and go fishing tomorrow morning, eh? See if we can catch a giant, big ocean monster, something epic to get on the deck of the boat, man. I'm that keen, so we gotta smash this down, get packing and get up there, hey. It's probably gonna be a late one and an early one, but it's all worth it, baby. Mmm, let's go. We've punched up here. Yeah, it's about 10.30 p.m. now. We're setting the alarm for 4 a.m., so I'll see you bright and early for an epic sunrise trolling mission. But I gotta get to bed right now, man. We'll see you then. That's the Cape. We're gonna get out past that offshore. The weather seems to be holding out. So the prediction was right. It's looking good. It definitely blows up this afternoon. So we'll get right out there. The sun's gonna be coming up. Get these lures in the water. Troll them back and forth over the reef. See if we can pick something up. That sun is rising right now and we're the only ones here. It's just us, which is rare as. Maybe because there's a giant storm brewing offshore right there, but bring it on, baby. So any fish getting around should be taking our lures and no one else's. So this is gonna be awesome. If I can't catch fish today, I should just give up fishing, honestly. I've got wire trace on this time because there's no way in hell. I'm letting the Spanish snip me off again. So let's pick up the pace a little bit, set the drag. 
miles right here. Look at that. It's actually magic this morning. We got the most insane like cloud cover. It's just widening up the, the sunrise. And then we got whales on this side of us. It's all happening. Oh, this big bus up. Look at this. Whoa. That was a big shot. Where's he gone? Oh crap, I'm in reverse. I saw a bunch of splashing. I decided to troll through it because I thought it was a tuna bust up. And a big shark just turned and swam straight into the back of the outboard. And then I just bloody put it in reverse. Just roll my trolling lines. What's going on here? What? <sighs> <sighs> What the hell, man? We just hooked up. We just hooked up. <laughs> Why not? Feels like a tuna. <clears throat> the big sharks around here somewhere. Huh. This could be a good fish. <sighs> I see color. Go on. Oh, he's heavy. Oh, what do we got? Come on. Oh, oh we got a GT. Is that a GT? No, it's totally not. Oh, we got a GT. <laughs> First ever giant trevally. <laughs> He's so big. Giant trevally on the troll straight after a shark attack. I don't know what the hell that was. I thought it was a tuna, a few head shakes. But that is literally my first ever giant trevally. This is insane, man. Never caught one of these before. Check out the head on him. <laughs> I don't want to keep him out of water too long. Super pretty fish. Wow, man. Thanks for the good times, mate. See you back in there. Oh, there he goes. Yes, he kicked off strong. Woo! First ever giant trevally. Can't believe I haven't caught one of them before, but that's out there. Done it. Just on my way back, crossing this channel, and I saw some whales here, so I've just stopped dead still in my tracks. I see one there. It's only five meters here and there's two big whales right there. Holy, look at the back of the boat. Coming up. Hey buddy, oh, it's a little, it's a little calf. It's a mom and a calf. I don't want to disturb these whales anymore. I just got lucky with those ones. Um, so I'm just going to keep shooting where I'm supposed to go and let the mama and baby head on out to open sea. That's awesome. More whales, man. What the hell? Ooh. They're coming up to me. I've never seen a whale check me out like that before. Oh God, here we go. Here we go. That thing is friggin' huge, man. Hey, buddy. Whoa, you're so big. You're so friggin' big. <laughs> He's going under the boat. Oh, jeez. Oh, that boat's going right under me. Thank you guys for not destroying me just then. Such an impressive sized animal that could just do so much destruction to people, but they're just so friendly. They come and say g'day, show off to the camera, go under the boat, don't even send a wave at me or anything and on their way. That's really, really awesome.